but I'm just going to compare masks. The Tyler's Studios Designs Michael Myers mask that they created is really a really big mask compared to my mask, which is right here, um, which mine's a converted mask that I did, but not off a trick-or-treat mask. This mask, this mask was sculpted by Tyler and uh, molded and cast and uh, made for a really big person's head. So, quickly. Look. It's huge. It's huge. So, a really big mask that just arrived today. You might have seen it in the other video that I posted. I bought, uh, basically, giving a quick review. The mask showed up. It's really it's pretty. The sculpt is all there, so the sculpt is there for that mask. Put down for a second, then we'll look at my mask that I converted from a mask that I picked up on online. It wasn't super expensive either. The base mask. If I have a clip, I'll show it. And uh, basically, I added the scar, there's the line work in there. Like, I kind of did a lot of overdone with all the color, um, black and gray. And uh, well, basically, I used a silicone adhesive to go on there and then carve in the lines and to carve in them, all these indents, which were not on the original mask that I got from China. The hair, I redid the hair. The hair on the original mask was sewn on. It was really poor and not that good. It looked like wig hair, like cheap wig hair. So I had, I found a mask that I had, an old mask. There was a lion. And I took the hair from that. And then I was able to uh, piece it together to form a nice head of hair on Michael and glue it in. And it gives like, in certain situations it does kind of look matted a little bit. And uh, I put a little bit of foam up top because it would sit low on me. So I put two layers of foam in the top. I also cut in the marks in here and then glued latex behind it to get the scars. So... This mask total costs. The base mask was twenty-nine dollars, including shipping. The hair I already had. The all it cost was basically the paints, which I used fifty percent acrylic paint and fifty percent late liquid latex mixed together, and then painted it on. And then the black I used a bit of water in it to thin it down, and then go in. So I'll probably be wearing this one for Halloween, but I'll quickly show you the inside. Uh, where I put latex back in after I did the cut marks and even the scar the hole compared to that one where it's really all deep super sculpted in because that's a that was, I believe it was hand sculpted then he molded it and stuff so he did a pretty good job on that hopping back on start from head so we can just sit there on start from head so that's it for the comparison of the Tyler's Studios designs mask versus my custom overhaul of a mat of a cheap Chinese mask into a pretty good looking mask that I will actually use for Halloween because this one's big. This fits my head better over this one. So there's a comparison of the Michael Myers 2018 masks, not Trick or Treat Studios because they're not out here in Australia. They're really expensive and they're, and they're out in America. So if you can find them and for a reasonable price, definitely do see if you might be able to pick one up. Which will fit a smaller head. Because it's meant for a big head. So if you're a big head, get this. 25 inches, at least it should fit a guy with a 25 inch head. Or a woman, I don't know. Um, gender equality for everyone. And uh, 
30 is the comparison. Like, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more videos. And trick or treat. Michael Myers. I'm not going to do the other line from Buster Rhymes. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm out.